Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. Let's go, you f***ing <laughs> need to address. Well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country. You don't belong here! And this video has been brought to you by racism. Racism is accepted wherever true Americans are. Perfect. So I just want to start off by giving you guys this information before we get directly into the video. Three Monroe County men have been arrested following an investigation into sales of marijuana and concentrated cannabis in Ontario County. Austin Mitchell, age 23, of Mendon, 21-year-old Santino Gardena of Fairport, and 22-year-old Samuel Wash were arrested Wednesday and are each facing drug-related charges. Mitchell was arrested after a traffic stop on Route 251 in Victor. Deputies stated that they found 200 vape cartridges filled with THC oil as well as concentrated cannabis. He was charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance. Gardena was arrested after deputies stated that he sold 96 vape cartridges with THC oil and two pounds of marijuana in Victor. He has been charged with criminal sales of marijuana. A search warrant was executed at Wash's Minden home Wednesday. Deputies state that 153 vape cartridges filled with THC oil were found, as well as concentrated cannabis and a significant amount of United States currency. He was charged with criminal sales of a controlled substance. The three suspects were remanded on jail prior to their arraignments. Let's go, you Congratulations, you played yourself. So just in case anybody is wondering, I made sure to state woman because I didn't know specifically what ethnicity the person speaking was. I, for the life of me, I really couldn't tell up until I saw the comment section and she stated herself that she very much is a black woman. She was just angry at the time. Now, usually the main question that a lot of people have is, did she, you know, call the police? She has the recording. She has everything that she needs in order to, you know, file something, right? So she stated, uh, we called the police after the fact and they were useless, but I feel you. I wish there was better protection for people being harassed. Another person listed directly to her that maybe she should try pepper spray or, you know, different things of that sort. If you have to deal with this type of harassment being a black woman. Woman. So this is one of the main reasons I showcase videos like this in order to let black women know and also let others know specifically what it is that they have to face on a day to day basis. Now, I want to say this for context. I'm not trying to debate with anybody on if she is or is not a black woman. This is what she identifies. as. This is what she stated directly on her tweet. Again, I'm not going to debate it. If you want to go through her genealogy, her DNA, whatnot, whatever, just for your own satisfaction, by all means, you can go right ahead. Now, again, um, black women out here face these types of harassments, um, this onslaught of wording um, periodically, and especially in America. I can't speak for anywhere else, but I can tell you in America, this is something that happens on a frequent basis or at least a frequent enough basis where it is recorded and people can go online, search it up and see it directly for 
themselves. And again, this just recently happened in July of 2024. So this is not old. This is not a year ago. This is not two years ago, three years ago. This literally happened this month, this year. And I've also told a lot of black women like, hey, you need to be very careful uh, where it is that you travel, where it is that you go, uh, because you have a lot of men out here that do not have the best interest for you. Uh, men like Mr. Santino uh, would be the type to try to do a variety of things. Um, he has the type of look as uh, somebody who was just at a rally uh, recently who uh, committed a very heinous act. I'm just you know, saying. He also has a, a look of somebody who might appear at a school. I'm just saying. So you know, this is the reason why a lot of black women need to be very careful and to keep their heads directly on the swivel uh, because a lot of black women don't have, you know, a lot of men around. A lot of black women move by themselves. So because that is a thing, this is what tends to take place. And men like Santino will tend to go after, quote unquote, uh, the weaker and meaning that either it's kids or it's going to be women or it'll be both. And this is specifically what he decided to do. He wanted to act like a tough guy. He has his dog. And obviously, they both live in the same building, as you know, uh, either one of them said before. And back at it again. Right. So this is something that uh, frequently happens. And I think even on her uh, Twitter, she made a reference towards what Santino stated. And she basically said, maybe this is like his third time seeing a black woman, you know, walk a dog. I don't know. So again, this is coming from a black man because I have women in my family. I want black women out there to be safe. I don't, you know, want you guys to really have to worry or, you know, different things like that. So, you know, as I've stated before, get your license to carry, um, learn some, you know, self-defense and, you know, figure, you know, some things out if you are going to be moving directly by um, yourself, because it, again, is very, very dangerous out here. Here comes a new challenger. White folks be engaged after five business days. I'm really forced to start dating white men. This is crazy. I'm just going to start matching with white men. LMAO, I've had enough. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now, some people online have already stated, what does this have to do with anything? It has a lot to do with a lot of things because you have a lot of people out here that feel that uh, the grass is greener, clear cut on the other side. And they find out that, hey, men are just men, right? It doesn't matter where you go. Men are uh, just men. And clearly, uh, because she might have had a couple of issues or a bad run-ins with uh, a certain type of guy, she decided that she's going to switch and now automatically have a preference and decide to specifically match up with that preference. Again, these are directly the tweets from the exact same person that I was talking about earlier, who we all witness was being treated a certain type of way. And as I've stated on this platform before, I'm an equal opportunist. And when it comes to times like this, when it comes to information like this, I have to now look sideways at the situation. So going back to what he stated before, he mentioned something very interesting because uh, nowhere on at least the tweets that I've seen of recent, did she talk about family? But he said, so what, you want to sit up there and fight me with your brother? I'm like, whoa, that's a little bit weird. How would you know specifically that she has a brother? And then going back to what he stated earlier, where this is like the third time, what does he mean that this is the third time? How how familiar are you two with one another? Because now I'm looking at these tweets and I'm looking at the situation and I'm trying to figure out how specifically is it that she was able to catch this on recording perfectly out there in the open, right? Broad daylight, clear 4K, 8K footage. Then on top of that, going directly through her Twitter and finding out that she was able to get both his name the name of his girlfriend and also, you know, find his family directly on Facebook. That's a lot of that's a that's a lot of stuff there. That's a lot of stuff there. And it's a little bit suspicious. It's a little bit too convenient for me. Again, not justifying 
how it is that he's acting, what it is that he is stating. I'm not justifying any of that. I'm stating that there looks to be a little bit more to the situation. And again, given the the topic and then given the fact of the evidence here of she stating that she has a preference because she might have had a few bad run-ins with a certain type of guy of her own community she decided to use those experiences in order to generalize all and be like you know what well these few experiences were bad so let me sit up there and just specifically try over here matter of fact not even try let me just make this my specific preference so again, I'm a little bit confused. Um, I'm a little bit uh, taken aback because, again, you know, I genuinely try to come forth and, uh, you know, say or, or speak some type of advice when it deals with these situations um, in hopes that it will get to and speak to the uh, black woman directly out there. But then um, I look at stuff like this and I feel a little bit stupid. I'm like, man, so I'm, I'm trying to defend and say you know certain things uh about the situation and this is what i'm reading i'm like what's the use of me even doing this because again you, your preference realistically should be the one and i've stated this before uh your preference should be the one or that preferences community should be the one defending you defending what it is that's taking place and i want to look back at this one piece of footage this old man right here was there for at least quite a bit of the conversation he was able to hear words. This old man is old enough to remember time itself. He was there back when Moses first received his first sandals. He was there back when Jesus made his first footprints on the beach. So I want you to understand that this man has history. He knows of history. He is actual history. He has seen many wars. And you saw this man stand up, but you also saw him stand down at the same time. So what I mean by that is as he is standing, he is observing everything, but yet he stood there in silence, basically conveying that he is completely fine with all of the interactions that are taking place, no matter how wrong they may be at the same time. And then he also stood down in a sense because not at one point did he ever lift his voice to even say anything, to even correct the young man, to stop him from doing and saying the things that he was stating. He just stood there and watched. So this is what it looks like being compliant and agreeing in silence. So this goes to a lot of other people directly out there that like to sit up there and say, well, oh, how can you say that all, all Caucasian Americans are the same? When you stand like this and you're watching things transpire, you are basically conveying to everybody else that not only are you an accessory, but you are okay with everything that is taking place. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.